Hi everyone, today we're going to be looking at the Arduino Uno Super Starter Kit Tilt Ball Switch. Now detailed information contained in the video can be found at accautomation.ca. A link's been put in the description below. If you have not watched the other videos yet, there'll be links in the description below that will start your video one. There'll be links to the rest of the videos in the series as well. So we'll now look at our Tilt Ball Switch on our, our Arduino Uno Super Starter Kit. Now tilt sensors, or Tilt Ball Switch, allow you to detect orientation or inclination. They are small, inexpensive, low powered, and easy to use. And if used properly, they'll never wear out. Their simplicity makes them popular for toys, gadgets, and appliances. Tilt ball switches are sometimes referred to as mercury switches, tilt switches, or rolling ball sensors. Now we'll be wiring our tilt ball switch to our Arduino Uno R3 controller on our super starter kit. So let's get started. And what you'll see is actually a picture of a tilt ball switch here, and you can see in um, they're usually made of a cavity of some sort. Cylindrical is popular, although not always, with a conductive mass ball inside, such as a blob of mercury or rolling ball. Now, mercury is not used anymore, but usually it's a ball of some sort in the cylinder that will roll back and forth. So, when the sensor is oriented so that the, the end is downwards, the mass rolls into the poles and shorts them, acting as a switch throw. Okay. And while this is not as precise or flexible as a full accelerometer, tilt switches can detect motion or orientation. Another benefit is that big ones can switch power on their own. Accelerometers, on the other hand, um, output digital or analog voltages that must be then analyzed with extra circuitry. Now, if we look at the wiring of our tilt ball sensor, you will see here that we have our tilt ball sensor uh, symbol right here. And you see it's sort of tilted on the inside. And we're going into D2 here. And we're going directly to a ground. So basically, uh, the Arduino Uno has pull-up resistor programming. So we don't have to always put extra pull-up resistors into our circuitry. So there are 20K pull-up resistors built into uh, the chip that can be accessed from the software itself. These built-in pull-up resistors are accessible by setting the pin mode as input pull-up. This inverts the behavior of the input mode where high means that the sensor is off and low means the sensor is on. So the value of this pull-up depends on the Arduino controller used. Consult your data sheet of the microcontroller on your board for the value that will be on this pull-up resistor. So once we have that, let's just take a look at the actual hardware that we have here. And we'll take a look also at that wiring diagram. There we go. So you see here that we have our Arduino Uno R3, and you'll see that we have our ground pin here going to one side of the tilt ball sensor, which is a cylindrical uh, unit, and then the other side going back into D2. And make sure, remember, there's no tilt uh, sensor at all, or no, no uh, pull-up resistor in here at all. So we're going to do that uh, by using the program itself. So let's look at our program using our Arduino Uno uh, IDE. So the first thing we'll do is we're going to make a program that will actually, as the ball rolls up, it'll turn off. When it's made, it'll turn off the built-in LED on the uh, Arduino Uno. And then when it's down, it'll be on. So what we do is we declare our constant. This is our LED pin number 13. Then our pin mode, LED pin output. Then our pin mode number two, which is still digital input, is now input pull-up. So now we're using that digital input as a pull-up resistor for our program. Now you can also do it the older way, which is pin two, you declare it as an input, then you put digital right to high, and that would also do the pull-up resistor for you. Then our loop begins, and basically all we're doing is looking at our digital value, that input pin, and if it's, um, if it's high, meaning that the tilt ball sensor is not on, then we turn the, the digital pin on, and if it's not on, it goes low. So on or off, all, that's all we're doing with that LED light switch. So let's go over back to our controller here. And if I, oh, and I just tilt this up, you can see the ball will roll down the cylinder and then turn off that light. There you go. And then I can turn it back on and off. So you can see that 
it can be very sensitive that where you're actually getting that tilt pole sensor from. So if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button below. If you have any questions about the video, please leave a comment below and I'll do my best to answer it. If you want more information about us or you want our free ebooks on numbering systems or bus data logging, please click on the link in the description below to get it. A new video is put out every Monday, so make sure you hit the subscribe button so you get more videos like this in the future. Remember to click that bell beside your subscription to actually receive those notifications. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Stay safe.